Got about a 15 pounder in that boat over there. The Animal Brothers. Hey, guys, hold them up. Yeah, they just hold it up. Oh, look at this one. This is Throw him back, little guy, little guy. We're out in deep water. Look how flat it is this morning. Bait him up, bait him up. Bait him up. Yeah. In gear. Out of gear. Well, Gordon came through again. Nice fish, isn't it? Feels like a good one. Feels like the best one we've had in two days. The Hoagie Brothers got some over there, too. Here he comes. Keep the rod tip up. Put the muscle on him, Doug. He ain't tired now. They're way back there. Oh, boy. Woo! Out of gear. Get the net for this boy. Here he is. Here he is. Get the net. Getting close down under the water. Just a little one, just a little one. There he is. Yeah, yeah, he's a keeper. Let's get this one netted. We got a few nice fish in there. Yeah, they are. They're gorgeous. Excellent for the barbecue. So we got a. Uh... See the way that flasher swings side to side. That's because they use big swivels on those ball bearings. And just beside the flasher there, you see a nice little king. Resident of Blackmouth, six to eight pounds. That's about what they're ranging right now. That's pretty standard fish in the Pillar Point area. Let's get this one netted. Fish on! Oh! Cheeks, yeah! Fish on! They're not taking that bait. We haven't caught any of that. <laughs> Looks oh. like halibut cheeks to me. That's um, those are animal brothers. You know, it's nice to catch some fish like this. They're not real big. We're out here off of Pillar Point. How'd that feel? Fantastic. Cut that on the downrigger. You know, a lot of people ask about downriggers and how to catch fish like that. Let's take a moment and show you how to set up your downrigger. Let's say, for instance, you were out fishing and you needed to spool up right on the water. Your line got kinked or tangled, or maybe you hit a reef and you lost all your gear, your weight, your line. How to put it all together. Let's take a moment and show you how to spool up one of your downriggers and see if we can't put another fish like this in the boat. On top here, that you take time to put it together right. Oh, fish on, on this rod here. Fish on, fish on, nice fish. Let's get that. Aha! You know, manual downriggers <laughs> are kind of the, the way of the old. A lot of people like the electrics. Keep your rod tip up a little bit now. Get on him. There you go. How's that feel? Got a lot of little a bit of weight of, there, huh? A lot of work. Yeah, a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, fun work, though. Fun work. Tough job. Someone's got to do it, huh? <laughs> well, uh, Except for the poor guy cranking on the downrigger. Tough job. Everybody wants to do it. You got fish on the poor hand cranker, the guy that gets stuck doing this all the time, I'll tell you. <laughs> Cleaned and everything, ready to go. <laughs> Through the magic of video. Pillar point, notice the water combination here, the way things are. Flat, glassy water almost 95% of the time. Although there's been three or four days out here that we haven't had this good of water. A little bit of chalk. 
You know, it's nice to be fishing with a guy that's been out here. Now, you haven't been on the water for how many years? Uh, uh, 22, 22 years. 22 years it's been since he's caught a fish. So that felt pretty good to him. Real good. Real good to him. It's even clean. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's put that back in the fish box. <laughs>